Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel for another video. So today's video is going to be another build video using the new up house that is currently in the premium shop. It will only be in there today and it will be gone tomorrow but I'm sure it will circle back around at some point. So if you haven't picked it up yet and you're not sure whether you want it, I'm sure most of you have already grabbed it like I did on update day. But if you haven't, this is going to be a build doing the exterior and interior of the house. Now, if you know me at all, Up is one of my favourite movies. It holds a very special place in my heart. So I really wanted to do a build for this house. Now, as we are getting so many new furniture and house skins and everything, I haven't picked a spot yet where this house is actually going to go. I do want to have it in my main valley. But I think I'm going to have to tear everything down and replace everything because we don't have the space for all the stuff that we're getting and we're going to be getting in the premium shop over the next month or so. So I haven't found a particular spot for this house yet. However, I thought in this empty space I have currently in my jungle in Eternity Isle, I would you just, I'll just do this very quick build and show how I'm going to decorate this house when I fully in integrate into my valley. Now, the design for this house is primarily based off of the movie. It is as movie accurate as I could kind of get it in Dreamlight Valley. So it may not be exactly how I'm going to decorate it when I actually implement it. I might go for a more natural look, but this is one that's very much based on how it looks in the film. Now, the exterior is as similar as I could get it. And on the interior, I have decorated three of the rooms in there. I did not decorate the fourth because I wanted to ask you guys to let me know down below if there's any particular kind of design of a room you wanted to see in here. But I felt like the three rooms I did were ones I had instant inspiration of creating and I was kind of waiting for the opportunity to do these. So I have popped them in there and that is everything that I've done this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. I will see you at the end and enjoy the video. So I started with the exterior decorating of this house. Now, as I said before, I did just pop this randomly in my jungle, but I started off with using white picket fences all around the house. Obviously, if you've seen the movie, you will know that this is kind of just the layout it has. Now, with the house, I decided to go for the style and look of it of how it looked at the start of the film when Carl and Ellie first kind of move in and everything is still really beautiful and overgrown. I didn't want to give it too much of a kind of dark and damp vibe as it does later in the movie when they're kind of trying to destroy the house and build kind of skyscrapers over it i wanted it to still feel very natural very rural so i went in with lots of foliage and things like that as we go on but i started off with a few items dotted around such as the yellow bike some of the leaf piles some little wall cones and a little kind of trailer truck and kind of dotted those about and figured out where I wanted everything to go and I used some of the existing up balloons that we got in a previous star path and in the premium shop to kind of build my structure of how I wanted everything to look and added in a lot more furniture. Now for the build, I did obviously want it to feel very much like when Carl and Ellie first moved in, which kind of doesn't really fit with the fact that it does have the balloons already attached to it. So I did kind of incorporate both of those things into the build, but I wanted to include a lot of flower pots and kind of overgrown shrubbery and things like that to make it seem as though this is when they're moving in and they're kind of getting everything decorated how they wanted. And I then went in with lots of different color trees. I used mainly the ones that we get in our meadow in the base game. So the oak, the red tree and the maples and gave it a very kind of natural look. And I liked the use of the different color trees to make it seem as though it's kind of like an autumn time where all the trees are different colors and then I went in with a lot of shrubbery both around the front of the house and also on the sides behind and on the sides of the trees.
foliage in this build, I wanted to keep it very green, very bright, make it seem as though it would fit really perfectly in the meadow, as this is probably where I'll end up putting this house when I kind of redesign everything. So I wanted it to all feel very natural. I used mainly base game plants. I did add a couple of little Eternity Isle plants around the front, just because these little green ones work really, really well. But I wanted to mainly stick with our base game ones and give it a very kind of natural meadow look, as though it would fit into kind of a lovely rural area where the house kind of is set up in the start of the film. up the outdoors I added in some meadow grass and beach grass to just kind of make it seem a little bit overgrown and then we moved in to the interior of the house I started off with the back room so I kind of the one I left blank was the entrance bay room but the one directly at the back is the first room I did and this is going to be the main living space now if you have seen the movie this is going to be their main living area which is kind of where a lot of the movie is centered around a lot of the interior shots are in this room compared to the other rooms in the house those ones I kind of had to look at ideas but also just really use my creation like creative imagination to do them whereas this one was a lot kind of simpler to figure out a system for but I did go in and place in a lot of the different furniture and wall hangings that I knew I was going to be using and spent, spent a lot of time kind of figuring out where I wanted everything to go I did want it to be as movie accurate as I could possibly get it but I also did want to add things that I felt just brought an extra touch and kind of replace things that we don't have in Dreamlight Valley currently so I went in and placed all of those. Now something you may notice in here is the fireplace. Now I personally do not have the Fredericksons fireplace that we got in a previous star path. Trust me, it makes me sad every day that I don't have it because I love up. So if you do have that fireplace, obviously use that one instead. That one is literally built to be in this room. It is perfectly movie accurate, but I personally don't have it. So I was looking at different fireplaces we had in game and trying to figure out what would work best. I did kind of play around with lots of different ones and I felt like the one that was the most similar was the Rapunzel one. However, it just didn't really work right in the layout. It just really stood out like a sore thumb because it was so obviously from Tangled. So I wanted to use a fireplace that wasn't as kind of striking that it was out of place. And it is unfortunate that I can't use the movie accurate fireplace, but hopefully one day it will come back in the premium shop so that I can get my hands on it and obviously replace the fireplace in here but I did my best to kind of figure it out and manage it despite that. Now something I did want to kind of have be a feature in all the rooms in this house but especially this main room was it being really eclectic and I wanted to put a lot of different things on the walls. Now if you look at the movie they have a lot of picture frames up with pictures of them as kids and their wedding and all of that and it has a lot of character. Now unfortunately we obviously don't have pitch those pictures in the game and hopefully one day we do but for now I use a lot of the different paintings and kind of wall picture frames that we have so you will see a lot of Mickey and Minnie Mouse in this house which is a bit strange because Mickey and Minnie do not live here so it is a bit odd that they have pictures of them all over their walls however I kind of wanted to do it in the sense that you just use your imagination and think of them as just picture frames of pictures of Carl and Ellie growing up and all of that but that was kind of my interpretation of trying to give it this really nice eclectic look with lots on the walls Now the next room I went and did, which is on the left hand side, is a kitchen space. Now in here I wanted it to be very bright, very colourful, I wanted it to really feel just somewhere that you'd love to hang out and kind of match the colourful aspect of the house exterior as well as the characters themselves. Obviously this didn't have much of a kind of 
floor plan or movie accuracy that I could get because we don't really see the other rooms in the house very often in the movie. So I kind of used my own imagination to create a room that I feel like they would have had as their kitchen space. And as I said, I wanted it to be very bright, very colorful and kind of utilize the different furniture we have. Now I kind of started by placing that all out as I usually do. And then I figured out the kitchen layout. I was debating which kitchen kind of style to use, but I actually end up going with the Wanderers kitchen set, which is from the premium shop. So if you don't, don't have it um always you can just utilize some of the modern furniture that we do have in game to do this instead but that is what i went for and i started arranging the kitchen and how i wanted everything to look and tried to give it a really kind of natural kitchen setup Once I went in and got the kind of main kitchen layout, I was figuring out a rug to put in here and I actually went with a touch of magic rug as I felt like it just matched the best. And then I started rearranging the rest of the room. I used some of the Cinderella windows with the blue curtains in here. I just felt like they matched really well and gave it a really bright atmosphere in here. I wanted it to feel very colorful, very lively, like the rest of the house and the exterior of the house. And I kind of finished up making it look like a natural kitchen to live in with a washer and a dryer and it gave it just a very kind of cozy feel. I do go in later and add food to the table, which you'll see in the final walkthrough and it kind of just finished up all the other extras that I wanted to put in there. then moved on to the third and final room now this one has a very different atmosphere because i wanted this to be like an attic space now obviously in the in the premium shop homes in disney dreamlight valley you can't do multiple floors you can't make rooms different sizes and shapes however if i could i would have made this room a lot smaller and made it really feel like an attic space so i did use a more rustic flooring and some brick wall to kind of give it as much of an atmosphere as i could as it being an attic space because i wanted this to kind of be like a storage room at slash their kind of like adventure room essentially i feel like this is where carl would hang out and reminisce on the adventures they went on together and kind of look at all the things that they discovered so that was the idea behind this obviously it is quite hard to achieve as i said in the premium shop homes because you can't really alter the rooms too much unfortunately hopefully that changes one day but for now i went in and added in everything that i thought would work in here again i wanted it to feel very eclectic i wanted this to feel really busy like there was lots going on and each kind of element to the room and things that i included in here do have a meaning and kind of a reason for them which i'll go into when i kind of do my walkthrough later on but i wanted it in here to just feel very very busy so i did go in and place everything around and kind of got the actual layout of the room fitted before figuring out what i wanted to add and kind of take away from the space
so that is the final build done so i will walk you through the exterior so as you can see i've just got the cute little truck outside as well as the yellow bike and a very kind of overgrown area obviously the pathway isn't extended because this is kind of just like a build in one place however i wanted to use the brick pathway to really feel like it was like a pavement in a city and then you obviously have the beautiful home with some of the up balloons behind just to give it that extra color and just make it look really really sweet i obviously included a craftable mailbox at the front to kind of match carl and ellie's i do hope at some point we get a craftable version with their names on and stuff i think that'd be so cute and included a lot of flowers and greenery outside the front as well as the white picket fence i really love how this turned out and when we head inside you can obviously see we went in and we had our first room which is this kind of main living area this is as movie accurate as i could get it so i wanted to obviously include carl and ellie's chairs with their little side tables and the Kind of music and tv on the side and the fireplace this was just the makeshift one that i went with i felt like it was the most accurate and then obviously included lots of bookshelves and displays on the wall a little desk where it's a disposable camera from their adventures I also wanted to include the windows with the blue curtains. I felt like they just brought some color to the room. And then I use the Monsters Inc. nook at the back to kind of mimic the one in the movie. Then in the kitchen, as you can see, I went in with a very bright kitchen space and I wanted it to feel kind of ma matching to the outside of the house. I wanted to use a lot of the blues and yellows that we see on the exterior. I obviously just used a little washer and dryer to make it seem like an actual living kitchen. And then we have the really cute little seating area with only a few chairs because there's only the two of them living there. And it's some sweet treats on the table and lots of cups of tea. I felt like it just fit their characters really well. And I included some little posters on the wall to add to the blue effect and just make everything really tied together nicely and just have a very bright kitchen space. In the final room, which obviously is like our attic room, this is Carl's kind of hideout. He has the adventure book open on his desk where he's looking through all the pictures and the adventures that him and Ellie went on. There's a little picture frame on his desk, which I kind of imagined to be a picture of her. Obviously, it's not because we don't have that in game. But that was my thought. I also have a little steamboat. So from their adventures, a camera. I also got the new map that we get as a little quest with the cupcakes. I've got that up on the wall and another map in a memory frame and just lots of storage and books and things filed away, which I imagine are photo albums and things from their adventures together. Now this is the final build I absolutely love up and I really enjoyed making this build. Obviously, as I said, I haven't quite found a spot yet to incorporate it into my actual valley because everything was fully decorated and now I'm thinking I'm gonna have to tear it all down to incorporate everything new we have. So I wanted to just create it here and kind of see how movie accurate I could get it in Dreamlight Valley. I think I did the best I could with the furniture I have. Unfortunately, as I said, I don't have the fireplace that would have worked perfectly in here. But hopefully one day that does come back to the premium shop and I can get my hands on it and I could just swap that out as I really would love to be able to include that in here. But overall, I feel like I've kind of captured the characters in this space and kind of done as best I can to make it as accurate to the movie as I could. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and let me know down below what you guys are going to do with your up house. Are you going to make it movie accurate like me or are you going to kind of put your own twist on it? I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do when I fully incorporate it into my valley. But for now, I really love how this turned out. I think it just reminds me so much of the movie and it really warms my heart. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for all the support on the channel. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Have a lovely week. Bye.